Hello there. So today we'll see uh, what are the four steps which you will be taking to access a Windows share from a Linux box. Okay. So I'm going to present this particular uh, uh, screencasting. So the first step in uh, uh, trying to take a particular share from a Windows box is to know whether you have connection from the Linux box to the Windows box. My Linux IP is this one and my Windows IP is this one. All right. Let me open up the command prompt of the Linux box. Okay, type in ping 10.0.2.129, hit on enter. So I am able to ping it. So let me hit on clear. So the next step is that I need to make sure that the Windows box on which I am on currently is capable of speaking landman challenge and responses. Okay, for which I need to go to start, go to run, type in secpol.msc, hit on enter. And I need to go down to this particular option of security option under local policies. Okay. I need to search for a particular thing called as network security LAN manager authentication. Double click on it and make sure that send LAN man and NTLM responses is selected. Okay. Click on OK. Then the next one which I need to uh, see to it is that I need to see this network access sharing and security model for local accounts. I need to make sure that classic local uh, user authentication is selected over here okay click on okay close this thing out so that completes the second point the third point is to make sure that uh, my group policy is uh, is not overriding our landman uh, stuff so what we need to do is we need to go to start run go down to reg edit okay click on okay so in that i need to go to uh, h key local machine under which systems under system go to control uh, current control set and control here you can see the particular uh, link exactly current control set control and lsa so under lsa i need to select this particular lm compatibility level double click that and make sure that it's set to a hexadecimal value of zero okay i'm going to click on ok then click on this one so after this you would require a reboot i'm not going to reboot it right now because i'm recording it and uh, i have already done this so you need to reboot it then come down to the fourth point so this is very simple wherein like you go to the start okay click on run hit on c colon hit on enter go to if this is uh, xp then go to tools folders option go to view scroll down all the way down and you could see this use simple file sharing this should be unchecked click on ok and close uh, and, and minimize this particular uh, window so that completes all your four points which you require now what we could do is we can create a particular folder over here under c drive and call it as test okay hit on enter hit on enter once again to go inside the test folder right click and go to new click on uh, text dot document so I can name this as a sharing uh, file hit on enter D hit on it once again so start typing something like this is going to be shared a c r o s s the uh, Linux L I N U X box okay uh, hit on a uh, file hit on save that's it close this box and uh, go one step backward okay right click on this test and click on sharing and security and share this particular folder hit on apply click on ok so you could see this particular hand symbol appearing there which states that this particular folder is being shared okay I can close this thing out uh, it's no longer required let me go to my Linux terminal okay so i'm going to hit on um, um smb client okay so hyphen l for the host so the host is going to be 10.0.2.129 okay uh, which is the windows box and uh, my username is going to be uh, xp uh, not xp it's actually kt if you could see in the start you can see like it's log of kt so my username is uh, kt over here so it's going to be kt hyphen small letter p 
four four five for the port number okay hit on enter it's going to ask me for the password if you do not have password set for your uh, username you have to set it prior to following this thing up so I'm going to hit on my password hit on enter so as soon as I hit on enter I could see my share appearing here so I know it's good to go next we'll try to do a file transfer using SMB client SMB client okay forward slash forward slash 10.0.2.129 forward slash test is the folder all right space hyphen u capital u sorry uh, the username is kt hyphen small letter p 445 hit on enter it's going to ask me for the password hit on my password and hit enter so hit on ls right now to list all the files in this particular share so you can see that sharing file.txt is appearing here now let me try to locally change directory to the what do you call like uh, my probably my temp directory all right hit on enter now what i'm going to do is i'm going to get that particular file of sharing file.txt hit on enter so as soon as i typed in get this particular file it's going to go and sit on my local directory of temp so let me exit out of this smb client okay let me try to cat forward slash temp sharing hit on enter so that this is going to be shared across the linux box this was the particular comment which was the which was there inside uh, this particular folder of test okay now it is right now in the inside the linux box let me hit on clear now let us try to mount this particular uh, share on one of our folders so let us try to mount it inside uh, say particular folder of uh, say bala probably my name uh, so mkdir forward slash temp uh, let me create a particular file name called a uh, folder name called bala okay so i'm going to mount uh, wh what's the stuff which I'm going to mount? Uh, the type, the file type is going to be SMB file system. All right. So hyphen O for specifying the username, which is KT, comma port, which is equal to 445, space, forward slash, forward slash, 10.0.2.129, forward slash, test. Okay forward slash it's going to be there on my okay i have put it on temp bala right so i have to put it on temp bala hit on enter and i have to key in my kt password so once that is done i can go into cd temp bala hit on ls so i can see the particular file i can cat it sharing uh, file.txt so now i can move one uh, folder back and uh, try to unmount it u n m o u n t unmount bala hit on enter oh that's u mount sorry it's not unmount u mount bala hit on enter now if i were to try to go inside bala and hit on ls now that file is not there so this completes uh, a very short tutorial of how you can share a particular file from windows into linux box uh, i created this video because i literally got burned several times trying to uh, get this thing working so uh, thanks for watching this video and don't forget to leave a comment uh, below this video bye bye